Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Feature Friday. I'm standing next to the camper we're going to do today. This is the Passport 282QB. Weighs 6,000 pounds, so it's manageable by a lot of half-ton vehicles. A lot of half-ton vehicles. I'm going to briefly touch on some of the outside stuff, and then we'll get to the good stuff on the inside, okay? So here on the outside, we have a nice big pass-through storage up here at the front. Plenty of room for tables, chairs, all that good stuff. I don't see you having any issues. Keep your water hose, sewer hose, all that good stuff in here. You do have electronic stabilizer jacks. You've got them at the front and the back. And those, I guess we really don't talk about those a lot. Those are exactly what they sound like. They're not meant to adjust your levelness on your camper. They're basically meant to stabilize and keep it from rocking or anything when you're in it. Those are electronic. If girl pan around, we've got a huge, and I mean, huge awning on this bad boy basically the full length of the camper it is an electric awning and it does have led lights on it as you can see they're on the underneath side of it outside speakers so this unit comes with inside speakers and outside speakers you can play them both at the same time you can play one not the other word to the wise not that i've done this before but make sure if you're in your camper and you're watching a movie in the evening that you don't have your outside speakers playing also you have TV hookup out here. It's football season. Uh, maybe you want to sit around the uh, campfire or sit outside, watch the game or whatever. You've got power. You can use the power for whatever you want, but the TV hookup right here with your power. You have additional storage back here in the back. You know, I showed you that pass-through storage up at the front, which is actually a really big pass-through storage, especially for a travel trailer. But now you've got all this additional storage here that actually extends on the back and the same space on the other side. So a lot of storage on this. You do have a ladder on this. When you have a ladder on the camper, that means it's a fully walkable roof. So that means you can get up there, clean it, maintain it, do whatever you need to up there. When you don't have a ladder, you do still need to get up there and clean it, maintain it, but it's not meant to be walked on a bunch. Basically, you get up there, you do your business, you leave. Uh, what else do we wanna talk about? Let's show on the other side, Gert. Nothing super crazy or fancy on this side. You've got your slide on this side. This is a bunk unit and I'll show you that when we get in. Let's go check out the inside. Okay, as we come in the door, I do wanna highlight that down here on the side, you've got some drawers here and then you've actually have access to this cabinet. This cabinet's pretty cool because I'll actually show it from the other side, but you have access to both sides of that. So it's easy to get stuff if you need to here or you can get it from the other side. Immediately to my left, we've got our bedroom. We've got pocket doors that'll slide to close this off for some privacy. We've got a queen size bed. You do have storage underneath the bed. Quite a bit of storage underneath there. If all of that outside storage wasn't enough. You have the his and hers closets on both sides. You can't hang some stuff in there, but you know, you can put a lot of stuff in there. You have some shared space up above. You both have really nice size nightstands whoever gets this side actually has a little bit bigger and this side actually has a drawer so you can hide some snacks or whatever in there usb and regular power on both sides and right here to my back is a place for you to mount a tv back here so you can put a tv on a swivel close the doors off and have some privacy back here if you wanted to main living space so like most manufacturers uh Keystone and Passport have redone their look and feel. Uh, that took place the beginning of 2021, actually late 20, 2021. We've kind of just gotten so used to it now, we've stopped talking about it, but I think it's important to point out that they went lighter, they went brighter, they went larger planks on the floor to give it an even more residential feel. So we have our sleeper sofa here, it's a jackknife sofa, so this will fold out and turn into a bed, so you've got some additional sleeping options here. You have a massive U-shaped dinette. It's got the pretty accent lights under it, and you do have storage on both sides underneath it. This will also turn into a bed. So we're sleeping a couple people in the bedroom, one or two people on our sleeper sofa. Let's be conservative and say one person here. So we're two, four, we're already at five, and we haven't even hit back there yet. So we'll cover the kitchen at the end. As we make our way back, we've got our bathroom. It's a nice size bathroom. You have your stand up shower, your sink, and you do have storage below your sink, as well as a double medicine cabinet, which is nice. Plenty of storage in there. 
You've got your exhaust fan in here to get rid of any uh, smells or humidity or both. Um, and you'll notice in the shower it does actually have a moonroof in it. It's still really tall, like I'm just shy of six feet tall. And when I'm in here, I've got plenty of headspace. As we continue back, I do want to show you these cabinets here. These cabinets can be for basically whatever. Uh, additional storage, blankets, pillows, board games, all that kind of good stuff. But you can also use it for kids storage if you needed to because back here is our bunk room. So we have quad bunks back here. Your top bunks are rated at 300 pounds a piece. Your bottom bunks, you're good to go. And as you'll know, you have storage down here as well as a really big cabinet of storage here. Also a place back here to mount a TV so the kids can have a TV back here. But these bottom bunks especially are actually pretty roomy. So if you had adult friends or whatever that wanted to travel with you, you could totally utilize this space for that. You've got windows on both sides, top and bottom bunk. So it's very light and bright back here. You're not going to have to worry about that. Uh, what else do I want to talk about here? Uh, so, so I know we were talking two people sleeping in the bedroom, one person or two people on the sleeper sofas for four, five, six, seven, you can sleep nine people in this camper, maybe 10 if you put an extra person on the uh, booth dinette. So I'll have Greer back up and we will talk about the kitchen now. So in our kitchen, we have a stainless steel refrigerator, nice size stainless steel refrigerator. Lots of room for a week's worth of food for, maybe not a week's worth of food for seven people, but quite a bit of food nonetheless. You have your three burner stove here, uh, and that does have LED lights, which is kind of cool. And, if I can kick it on, this is a pretty cool feature. So, when you, regardless of whether you have your LED lights on, uh, but with your LED lights on, that's a really hard thing to say. I'll explain it in a minute. I've got the LED lights on right now. If I accidentally left one of the burners on, it would actually glow red. So I would know like a kid bumped it or I bumped it, whatever, and I know to shut it off. That does also work without the LEDs on. That's what I was trying to say a minute ago. So you've got storage space down here. This is the access that I was talking about where you can get to it from both sides if you need to. Microwave. Your TV for your main living room area is right here. You can pull that out. It is on a swivel so you can see it from anywhere in here in the unit. So you can have a TV here, TV in the master bedroom, and a TV in the bunk room. Sink, we've got a nice big stainless steel sink with a detachable sprayer. And though you've got a lot of countertop space, you actually have this bad boy that will lift up and give you some additional prep, cooking, serving space, whatever you need it for. So guys, there you have it. Thank you for watching this week's Feature Friday. If there's something in particular you want to see or you have questions about the unit, feel free to leave a comment down below. We'll be happy to get to it. Thank you and enjoy your weekend.